Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Frank Malarsic and in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can get a custom uh, script into your spreadsheet and basically sharing a script that I've created with you guys so that you can put it into your portfolio tracking spreadsheets. It's going to be a super simple process and will hopefully um, add some value to your spreadsheets. So I shared this uh, thing I was working on a few weeks ago. Uh, so basically what it does is it's going to track the value of your portfolio every single day and just kind of give you the ability to keep track of that every single day and uh, in your spreadsheet, I guess. And then you can create these graphs as well, which I have included and make it super easy to make. And after you know a few weeks, a few months, a few years, uh, hopefully you have some nice graphs that show the progress of your portfolio and how you've been able to grow your dividend income over time. So um, this is sort of what it looks like in my spreadsheet, but I'm going to show you guys exactly how to implement this in your spreadsheet. And hopefully it'll be a super simple process. You know, I've shared some scripts of mine in the past that were in Python, and you know, there's really not a good way to integrate that with your um, Google Sheets unless you have some sort of external like server or something like that, which just gets way too complicated for most people. So what I did is I did it in JavaScript within the Google Apps script, and I put it here on GitHub, which I have to say, um, I drew some inspiration from Investing Sensei. He has a YouTube channel and he has some, you know, scripts and stuff that he does in his spreadsheets that he has shared with his peop with his subscribers and put on his GitHub. And I think a lot of people have found that helpful. So I wanted to try to share, you know, what I'm doing and put it on GitHub. And I'm definitely going to be working on, you know, converting some of my Python scripts into JavaScript in the future so that I can put those on GitHub as well. So the first thing you want to do is I'm going to, obviously I'm going to put the link to this GitHub in the description, and then you want to click on it and you get to this page most likely but you want to go to this button here that says number of commits that's just to make sure that we're on the same page and at the same point in time because maybe this is two years down the line and i made some changes so if you want to make sure you're getting the exact same version as right now what you got to do is go to these commits and then choose this one here from march 8th there might be one from march 10th if there's one from march 10th choose that one but you're going to go to these arrows and browse this repository and then down here in this readme, there's just, you know, the steps that you have to go through. And we're just going to kind of walk through those steps um, together. So the first thing you want to do is open the spreadsheet. And this is kind of a uh, template that you can copy and use um, just to make it easier so you don't have to set up a lot of this stuff. And it also made me easier when I'm writing the script because I kind of know where some things are going to be already. So the way you copy it is you just right click down here and click copy to and then I'm going to copy it to a new spreadsheet. If you already have a portfolio tracking spreadsheet, you can copy it to an existing one. Then you can open the spreadsheet and uh, what you want to do is put in your portfolio value, dividend income and dividend yield. So if you already have those at some place in your spreadsheet, you can just create references to those in these cells. So I'm going to show you how to create those references if you need them. Uh, so I'm just going to, you know, enter some numbers in here for my portfolio value, dividend yield, and dividend income, just so we can get them into the spreadsheet real easily and show you how that works. So if we say these are my portfolio values, dividend income projected and dividend yield, and we want to get those as they change, then we can just type equals in this cell, and then come over here and click on that dividend or sorry, the portfolio value, and then it's going to bring that in. Then we can do the same thing for the other two. And the nice thing about this is when those values change in this sheet two sheet, it's going to update them in here. So right now it says portfolio value of 2000. But if we update this portfolio value to 2500, then the uh, portfolio value here is updated to 2500 as well. So that's um, a really nice way. And it makes it easy for me when I wrote the script um, to always know where that data is going to be. So the next thing you're going to do is go to extensions and open up the apps script editor. And this is going to allow you to create a script, but you're not really going to have to do any of it yourself. You're just going to go to this, my GitHub to the log data.js file. And then here uh, you can just copy kind of all this code in the file and select it, right click, copy, and then go into your uh, script editor, delete the function that's in there and then paste it in here. And from there, the only thing you're going to have to edit is this spreadsheet ID. So you're going to delete where it says your ID here. 
and then you're going to go back to your spreadsheet and in the URL along the top there should be a series of letters and numbers and these will be between the D in the URL and the word edit and between those slashes don't include the slashes and so you're just going to copy that string basically and then you're going to paste it in these quotation marks make sure you keep the quotation marks on either side and then you can save it and that's pretty much about it as far as editing ed anything um, you can test it out and run it manually so uh, you can select a function to run which we're going to want to run the record data function here which is this function down here this is the one that's actually doing all the work and some of these other functions are just like helper functions and we're kind of calling those um, within this bigger function so we want to run the record data function and the first time we run that it's probably going to ask us to authorize um, the script project to edit our spreadsheet um, so we're going to review the permissions and then you know just continue to your account and then it says google hasn't verified this app and then you have to click advanced here and then go to untitled project and then click allow and that's basically just allowing this script to run in your project and then it's going to run the script and as you can see here it put these values that we had so it put the current date which for me is march 10th and then it put the these values from these cells in there and you can see if we change these values it's going to change over here and then if we run it again it's going to you know put those in again and they're going to be changed in there and it's also going to update these uh, graphs every single time it's run but uh, we don't want it to be so that you have to run it every single time or every single day uh, so what we want to do is set up a trigger so you're going to go over here and click the little clock over here i hope my face isn't covering it but uh, it looks like a little clock and it says triggers and then you're going to add a new trigger from the bottom and choose which function to run you want to run the record data function like i said because that's the one that um, actually does all the work and then the uh, deployment you don't have to mess with that but the event source you want that to be time driven so that's going to allow you to set it up to run on a certain time interval and we want it to be a day timer and then i always select 10 p.m to 11 p.m just so it uh, runs like near the end of the day when the market is already closed and there's not going to be any changes going on um, with your portfolio value and then you just click save and at that point you are pretty much done um, there's not really much else I need to go over here in terms of the tutorial um, if you do have any questions you can you know obviously pause the video and you know re-listen to what I said or uh, you can go in here and kind of read the instructions um, if you need to, but if you're still having trouble, you can definitely uh, reach out to me you know, on Instagram, Twitter, um, you can email me or something like that, and I'll try to help you out as much as possible. And definitely, if there's any bugs or anything like that that doesn't seem to be working quite right, definitely let me know of that as well, because obviously you want to, I would obviously want to change it and make it better for all of you. And if you do, you know, appreciate this or find it helpful for your portfolio and your uh, spreadsheets, definitely um, show your support by subscribing to the channel and liking this video as that's really a really the best way you can uh, show me your thanks at this point in time. Uh, so again, let me know if you have any questions or need any help setting this up. Uh, I tried to make this as easy as possible to set up and I think it I think it's pretty easy. You know, anyone who has basic computer skills could figure it out. Uh, so let me know if you do have any questions and just want to thank you for sticking around to the end of the video and I'll see you in the next one.